M0FXB Zygo X6 200 new firmware version 1.07 they've moved the CW decode now it, it now goes under the word key so if we just go key here and select CW with the top middle button just here CW and then your decoder is just here look see so it's off at the moment and I'll show you the new 3D display in a minute but if you just turn it on and then it starts to appear now I've been tinkering with these settings you've got CW threshold the trainer just add your paddle and you can start training when that's on let's turn that off actually um, and um, you've got DI DA ratio and then here you've got two QSK time so I, I've been tinkering of course and I've not really got any decode yet. It, it's definitely trying to decode. So, if someone gets the settings that works for them. I'm just moving that along. Let me know. Not, well, I think yeah, there is activity there. Anyway, I have a tinker. Someone let me know if they've managed to get the setting. I'm not saying it's not working. I'm just saying I don't know what the settings are. To get it to start to decode, I've been tinkering. Let me show you the new display, if you back out with Jen. Display. Go right or left, until you get to display 3. And then turn that on. Oops. Oops. <laughs> uh, right. There you are. The smaller knob on. Actually, looks like you can do it with this as well, look with a big knob. Exit. And we've got this new 3D display now. So we've got the 3D display, change back to LSB button here. Looks good. You can learn French. Really good. If they get the CW thing a bit simpler, you've actually got, if you hit the app, SWR scan, voice call, FT8 decoder. You want to be an upper sideband. They got a digital, they got digital. Let's see if it starts to decode. What do you think about it? It's HF6 meters. I've got the WR12 unit so I can receive VHF and UHF. And there we are. You see, it's decoding. Uh, I just, it's been a bit of a patient wait to be honest regarding getting the right firmware. Apparently, the battery is better now. Shame we can't transmit FTA because you can on the Zygo X6100 with the R1 CBU. Of course, you've still got a tuner. My, open, my TX is open there. Oops. <laughs> Voice transmissions. And if you look in the system, you've got wireless LAN, you've got WF 
new server, you've got Bluetooth, which I believe is on. I'm not seeing Bluetooth audio, but it, Bluetooth WFU server means you can you can actually run this with applications on your PC. So yeah, I, I just there's a lot to tinker with here, and the price is about right now. It's around seven hundred pound, which I would say is right for this device. And you get yourself a PA fifty amplifier. <clears throat> You've got there's my PA fifty there, fifty watts. That's more than you're ever going to need if you want to just have some nice contacts. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.